Hey guys, welcome to GShack Tech, and today I'll be doing another Mac OS 10 helpful hints episode. So let's get started. So first up today, I'll be showing you guys a shortcut on how to quickly um, access the full screen uh, possibility with the Mac OS 10 Lion. So it's very simple. Uh, most of the applications running on Mac OS 10 Lion that come from Apple have the ability to go full screen, which is part of the Lion software. So here it is, just pages right here. I'm going to choose just a blank one just to show you guys how it works. So in the top corner, you see this little, um, these two arrows that basically allows you to go full screen, just like that. And so today I'll be showing you guys just a really quick shortcut, just to, instead of having to click on those arrows, you can go c Command Control F. So let's do that right now, Command Control F. And that's just a really quick shortcut on how to get um, full screen within any of the applications that support full screen within Lion. And it works just getting out of it the same way, exact way, Command Control F. And that's pretty much it, how you have that shortcut for full screen um, possibilities. So next up, I want to show you guys a really cool accessory that I found within the dashboard. It's not very, very useful, but it's sort of cool to mess around with if you have any questions. So you go, all you got to do is go to your dashboard. You got to get the widget of the dictionary. Click on that. It's going to pop just like that. And then what you want to do, instead of going to dictionary, you want to go to the drop down menu, go to Apple. This is where you're be able to search all Apple products or Apple um, titles within this search bar. So I got to do a search. Let's go um, spotlight. Spotlight, and there it is. It'll just give you a brief description of Spotlight or whatever you think you type in. So let's go Finder, let's go Pages. And basically, all all the things within Apple um, vocabulary is in this um, dictionary. You could call it. So it's a really really cool um, little application that I found a couple days ago. It's pretty pretty neat to work around with. Instead of going on the internet and all that, you can just go right here. If you find something you don't know the name of, or you do know the name of, but you don't know what it is exactly, you can search it on here and find out whatever you need. So next up, I want to talk about the RAM CPU um, applications that you can find on the App Store. Some are paid, but some are free. Um, those applications are not necessary. They just tell you how much RAM you have, how much CPU you're using up, how much hard disk space you have. Those are not necessary. You already have one of those applications pre-installed on all Macintosh computers running the OS X software. It is called Activity Monitor. You can find this by going into your Applications folder, going into Utilities, and then finding the application of Activity Monitor. It looks like this, just a little like um, heartbeat, what you see in a hospital. So open that up, and it's right here. This will show you how much all the information you could possibly get on a whole bunch of applications are right here already pre-installed so here you have it you have cpu so right now i'm using 5.5 percent um you have idle you have percent system you can have cpu usage over here you can see system memory to see how much inactive free wired or active um, memory you're using you have also have graphics over here in a pie chart you have disk activity as well as disk usage and this is a very very simple application to be able to use um, to tell how much all your CPU, CPU data and all that within a very simple application that is already pre-installed on a Macintosh computer. So that's Activity Monitor. I think it might help you guys out if you're looking for one of those applications when you already have it on your computer. That's pretty much it for this Mac OS 10 Helpful Hints episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check my channel DShack Tech for more app reviews, app reviews, rooms, and Mac OS 10 tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.